Hi, my name is Ross Butler. You may know me from Shazam or 13 Reasons Why or to all the boys. We're here at Dog Pound LA, and I'm gonna give you a little workout of what's keeping me in shape during the quarantine. I'm splitting my muscle groups up into two a day. Today, it's a chest and back day, so just keeping it light. Cool, so we're gonna start off with the pre-fatigue. I'm gonna be doing archer push-ups. You can't tell in the video, but it's kinda early in the morning right now. I feel a lot in my outer pecs, also a little bit of my triceps, you know. That's super chest dominant, and it just forces you to really focus on your form and getting the blood flow into the chest. We just did the chest pre-fatigue, now we're gonna do the back pre-fatigue, which are functional pull-ups. So I'm gonna go half range on the first rep and then a full rep, and that just counts as one. <sighs> ah. All right, six, not too bad. Cool, all right, now that we're done with the pre-fatigue, we're gonna move on to the actual exercises. But for this one, we're gonna be doing a dumbbell floor press with a glute bridge. So we're gonna do five reps normally, and then five reps with a five second hold at the top. So again, this is pretty lightweight, but if you did a bunch of push-ups right before this, ah, it gets a little tough. So the next exercise we're gonna be doing is the dumbbell row. And again, with these, since it's really lightweight, the two things you really wanna focus on is form. So making sure that my arms really extend at the bottom. And when I drag up, I flex and, and feel it in my back. Whew. It's getting a little warm, waking up. <laughs> All right, the next thing we're doing is a uh, lower pec fly, which uh, is super tough. And again, the biggest thing here is form. So I usually stagger my legs. I'm really keeping my elbows by my rib cage and pulling it together and really feeling it in this middle lower pack. <sighs> this next one is also another one of my favorites. You get a pretty heavy band and use like a kitchen towel or whatever. And um, we're gonna make it so you really feel the stretch at the top and we're gonna be pulling back and really keeping your elbows up. <sighs> Big thing to focus on is keeping your eyes on where the tension is, just to keep that neck up. If you did it right, you'll feel it right in between your shoulder blades. Really focus on pulling those back. So we're gonna go back to chest. Uh, this is gonna be a banded single arm chest fly. So again, you can do this at home. Get a good stance, really focus on pulling that in, getting that upper chest, squeezing it up and to the left. Ah. Again, with these bands, it's great to really squeeze at the top. So for the last chest exercise, we're gonna be doing a push-up, uh, call them book push-ups, I guess, or dictionary push-up. The push-ups, these are my least favorite of everything because this is the burnout. So you're gonna be on the floor, you're gonna be doing just regular push-ups, just burn them out. When you can't do any more, you add a yoga block or a big book, uh, you burn out on that, and then you add it on top of the other book, and then you just burn out again. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, for the last uh, back exercise, we're gonna be doing um, these cross band scap pullbacks, I wanna say. Uh, you're gonna attach one of each band, make sure they're crossed, and again, this is all form. This is all really focusing mind-muscle connection. I'm pulling it back. <laughs> Take two, all right. And you really wanna pull back, really flex those scaps. These always feel kind of good, but they also burn. And you don't wanna push your abs out. You wanna just keep the form. Oh, that burns so good. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I mean, it's not super easy, but it's all stuff that you can do at home, but it's challenging and that's the biggest part. You know, just keep the blood flowing, stay mentally sane, and um, yeah, just keep challenging yourself. Thanks guys.